Welcome, guys. Hope you all had an amazing Easter. Easter. Is it still Easter today? I don't think so, right? So, okay, in my county, it's now finally summertime, just like the U.S., okay? So I wanted to set the timer for the sea, man. It says it's going to be live in two hours, even though it was going to be an hour. YouTube, the system is like, the system is, is, is confused. I don't know. It's glitched. So, yeah, it's kind of annoying. Now, it's very hard to tell people when we're going live. I don't understand, like, what this happens. But hey, it might take a couple of weeks for people to figure it out, you know. But here we are. I'm ready to take down some scammers. Uh, yeah. Uh. Let me check, guys. I'm really tired today. Aha. You guys can tell. Only 26 viewers. Everything is like... Um, uh... Everything is glitched. Oh. Can you crack down these scammers who just robbed a bunch of people? Rebel Satoshi coin. No, I cannot. Look. There's a lot of shit coins out there. And a lot of people who just buy random trash in the crypto market. And these people who make coins like that. You cannot find them. They know very well to hide themselves, you know? It's a shame people um, fall victim to these, but there's not much I can do about that. These, these, these criminals know very well how to hide, and there's, there's millions of people who buy shit like that. Look at Dogecoin. So many idiots will buy that cap, you know? It's, uh, I don't know. I'm not even that interested in crypto anymore. You see trash, complete trash like Dogecoin in the top 10. Says it all about crypto, you know? I mean, if I do it, I would do it with coins I could actually potentially use. Like Exactly, Skynet. I don't understand why so many people are into all of those shit coins. Ah, nice. Trapper is here. Let me set up the screen. Fujitsu. A Fujitsu laptop is up. <clears throat> Okay, just, um, I'd like to add, Mr. Blunt, I spent hours a day just dealing with crypto-related stuff, okay? Every single day, just hours of dealing with crypto scams, you know? There's a lot of different types of crypto scams. We take their websites down, costing them money. Some of these scammers spend, like, $5,000 on a domain, $10,000 on a domain, and we get it terminated. They will not get their money back. They just make new ones, you know? So hours a day, and I, I just know, like, if you have a, 
a project that Rug pulls, it's almost impossible to find out who's behind these coins, sadly, you know? <clears throat> so, yeah. I'm actually in some really big crypto discords where all I'm doing is just deleting scammers. Reporting websites, all of it. Thanks so much for the donation, Gene Scambates. Uh, yeah, the YouTube crypto ads, man. Those live streams, I deal with them as well. YouTube doesn't do much about it. And people just report those live streams. That's not what you should do. You should report the websites these hacked live streams point to. You know, no one is doing that. So that's what we do. Hours a day, guys, just dealing with crypto alone. And on top of that, those those phone scammers. <laughs> It's just, I don't make videos out of it. It's boring. It's no action. But still, it's hard work. Yes. Hiding their identity. They know what they are doing. You know, in general, crypto scammers, they know better than others. Like, um, to hide themselves because look what's happening with that big scammer what is his name uh what is that uh scammer's name the ftx one 25 years in prison you know people think twice before showing their face <laughs> yeah sam bankman It's such a shame. I really believe that crypto, the, the, the original idea of it is really great. Bitcoin is amazing. But half the projects are just scams. It, it's such a shame. Uh, okay, I have a pop-up here, but it's from a couple days ago. I don't know. Been working in the garden all day. Very busy. So let's see if it's up. <laughs> Phone number not found. Uh, I figured. All good. I have more numbers. We're just going to start with some shit numbers. Till the fuels are up, you know? And then we're going to move on to some more promising numbers. Phone number not found. Part of the problem is you can't buy much with crypto. That is actually not too skinner. That is not too, maybe in the US, but um, actually in my county, I can just buy, I can use it on so many websites, like you wouldn't believe. And then you can also uh, buy cards that will let you just crypto into fiat in real time in a store. I can get food delivered with Bitcoin for like over 10 years. There's plenty, you know? Yes, early adaption phase still. And sadly, tyrannical governments are trying to stop it because they are afraid of it. So they do everything they can to stop it. Governments are actually the real scammers, but a lot of people ask me, why don't you go after the governments? Well, I don't think that would be ending well. <laughs> okay, guys, um, I got an Apple scam here.
Thank you for calling Apple Customer Support. You are speaking with Richard. How may I assist you today? Yes, hi Richard. I'm having this issue with um with my Apple. I, I don't understand, but it's not letting me open the iTunes anymore. I'm sorry, what it doesn't let you open? My iTunes to listen to music? iTunes, sir. Oh. oh got it, got it. Are are you sure you have a recharge for that? Huh? What? What do you mean? Uh you so mean? you have to do some subscription. Uh you have yeah. to do some subscription for the iTunes, right? I don't know. So Yesterday are, I could still listen uh, to it and today not. I don't know about no recharge. Okay. Uh no problem. Uh are you remember did you remember when was the last time you recharged for this iTunes? Did you I don't recall do ever paying recently? to it. I don't recall ever recharging it. I didn't even know you had to pay for it. I was just listening okay. to music on that. Mm hmm Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and check on my system for you, if yeah. that's okay. Uh, may I have your name, please, sir? Yeah, William. Uh, what about your last name? Wanker. W-A-N-K-E-R. Okay, thank you so much. And also help me out with your Apple ID so that I can check on my system. WilliamWanker2 at gmail.com WilliamWanker2 at gmail.com Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay. So you're still listening today and suddenly it stopped working, am I correct? Uh, no, yesterday I was listening and today I couldn't even like start it at all. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, is this ever happened before or is the no. first time? First time. Okay. Got yes. it. No problem. Uh, let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and check on my system right here. Yeah. And it won't take a long time. It will take around probably thirty seconds to go ahead and check everything. It won't take a long time. Just bear All with right. me. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. You're most welcome. Fucking idiot. That's a pathetic scam website, Tapper, don't you think? It looks shit. Okay, hello, sir. Are you still with me? Mr. Wonker? Yes, I am. Okay, thank you so much for holding the line for me. I was checking on my system right now. And uh, first of all, are you able to use your Apple ID right now for any yeah. kind of things? Like, uh, for an example, just a simple thing like to download something or, you know, to do any kind of payment. Is it, are you still able to use it according to your knowledge? Sorry, genius. So... Did you able to use your Apple ID for any kind of purpose? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. For an example, uh, for any purposes. kind of payments, for any kind of oh, download, yeah, sure. to yeah. download anything like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's great. Because uh, according to the information that I have it right here. Your Apple 
I has been restricted. It's under restricted right now for some reasons. It's because the Apple ID that you're using right now currently has been uh, logged in with three different location as well as devices, which is from uh, for the first one is from U.S. The first one is uh, the second one is from Germany and uh, China, where your Apple ID is signing from. Well, that's weird. And uh, China. Multiple. There is a multiple activities that's made. Yes. China. Well, that's weird. Yes. I never. Do you been have anyone China. from those locations? I never been to China. Mhm. Mm so, which is definitely not you. No. So, let's see. Okay. Yes. So, according to what we have here, uh, from those location, uh, many activities has been made using your information basically yeah so before i gave you any information here i would like you to have it your tickets number that i've just raised regarding the concern that you're facing today okay sure give me the ticket so yeah the ticket number that i've raised just now it's six five nine nine yeah zero nine two five it's six five nine nine zero nine two five i believe you will be receiving this anyway but i would like to give you first so okay. this is the tickets number that i've just raised regarding this like i said your apple id has been restricted right now and many activities has been made as well uh so which is which we believe that it might be possible of attempt of hacking cases. Yeah. Uh, did you protect your Wi-Fi? Like, I mean, did you use any kind of password managers or anything like that? I don't. Did know, your Wi-Fi man. password protected right now? I don't know, man. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I want you to check one. One thing on your settings to make sure that is there any breach on your network or anything like that. Because uh, Who knows? the setting would like to check it's, it is, I'm sorry, Who did knows? you say something, sir? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Okay. So. Yes, the settings that I would like you to check right now, it's called uh, trusted certificates. So there shouldn't be any trusted certificate link in here. If there is any trusted certificates are linked with your devices, uh, it, it, it might, it means, okay, it basically means that there might be uh, a hacking which has been taking place on your devices. Yes. Or either it can be your home network either. Yeah. So, uh, how are we gonna Do you know how it, to check okay? your certificate? Uh, save me the details, yes, genius. That's exactly what we are doing save right now. Save me the details, you genius. I just want it to be fixed. That's what we are doing right now, genius. Okay. Okay, and now you still there? Yo, where's he gone now? Why did he call me the genius? I don't think he knows much about Apple. Neither do I.
Electro told me that people who work for Apple are called geniuses, so I called him a genius. He must have thought I was insulting him or something. <laughs> you know, I'm actually happy that he hung up. This guy was slow. Very slow. Look at that, guys. Not even 100 viewers. This uh, time is really confusing. Am I live now for the US an hour later, right? People must think like I'm not going to stream or something. Plus it's a little bit ragged as well. Um, Let me see, guys. We have here a pop-up. Do you know what, DBI? I gonna become a scammer myself now. Screw helping out others. Yeah. Let's become scammers because these guys are not good at it, right? It wouldn't be hard to be better at it than they are. <laughs> <clears throat> so let's go some pop-ups Thanks for getting connected with support. This is Alan DeCosta. How can I help you? Yes, hello, Alan. I got a weird issue here with my computer. Mm -hmm. Okay. What issue you are facing, sir? How can I, I help you? I got a warning. I got a warning saying my computer is blocked. Why is it blocked, sir? What, what is this? Okay, what exactly you were doing with a computer when you faced this kind of problem, sir? Nothing, nothing. Uh, you might be doing something, right? Like, yeah. what exactly happened? Can you just tell me? I was just browsing on the internet, looking up some stuff, right? And then it says Microsoft Windows Firewall Alert, PC infected with Trojan type spyware, error code 2. Mm -hmm. We seven H G T V B. I don't know. It doesn't close. Okay. Uh, and like, can you just confirm me the device name, like the device which you're using? Like, it's what is the make of it? Fujitsu. Fujitsu laptop. Fujitsu. Yes. Just give me a sec. Okay, and can you just confirm me your name with whom I'm speaking right now? Michael Johnson. <laughs> Michael Johnson. Yes. All right, Mr. Michael. Uh, can you just give me some uh, moment, like a couple of seconds, so I can check under the server and I will let you know what exactly uh, the problem is, all right? And okay. You told me that when you just try to browsing, uh, like when you try to net surfing, internet surfing, at that point of time, automatically it's come up, right? Right. Okay. Just give me a moment, let me check, and I will let you know everything, all right? Yes. Just hold on. Hello? All right, Mr. Michael, are you there? Yeah. Yes, I'm Thank here. Thank you for holding the line. Uh, yes. 
let me tell you the problem you are facing is not a normal or a regular problem which you are facing uh it basically happened uh as we can see this is a problem of a network bleach all right it's like apart from you there is somebody else who just trying to get into your device while breaking the firewall security of the microsoft window program and that is the reason windows defender simply freeze down the computer so nobody can able to use it again from your end okay all right yes so first of all so first of all let me help you to unlock your computer all right yes and after that we have to connect you to the microsoft secure server so we can rectify and analyze from your end what exactly the problem is all right yes all okay. right okay now so first of all uh, i want you to just look on your keyboard on the left hand side bottom corner of your keyboard can you see uh, in there uh, there is a button which is called skip esc on the left hand top can you see that oh uh, yes i do see that you need to press that button for one time Simply yes press the for finger and remove it yes okay and can you see any changes Yeah, I see the time again at the bottom. You can see the time and date, right? Now, yeah. I want you to just focus on your keyboard once again. On the left-hand side bottom, you can see there's a control button, CTRL button, right? Yes. And just next to that, can you see there is a four square window button? Yes. Yes, yes, I can see that. Yeah, what you need to do now now listen to me very carefully. You need to press that window button with one finger and hold it out and with the help of another finger press the letter D. D as in David. Press it together at the same point of time. Window and D. Yes. Oh wow, I can see all of my icons again now. Okay, now let me tell you this is a temporary security which you just receiving from our end. This yes. problem can that which you have it might be get crash and it can't be get recover as well i All don't right? want it to be get cached uh i said it's crash yes i don't All want right. that it can be okay so what you need to do first of all just confirm me when you just try to use your internet for the net surfing on this laptop at that yeah. point of time which browser did you use mr michael like you use uh the google chrome or microsoft edge no mozilla firefox or oh, mozilla firefox all right and apart yeah. from this mozilla firefox i do believe you have another browser which is look like uh, which is a microsoft edge yes okay i want you to pull up the microsoft edge browser try to open do it do you do you do you like do you like edge Yeah, open the Microsoft Edge browser. Yes. Okay, it's open, but do you like Edge? Yes, definitely. Then you're an edge lord. It's open. Okay. Now, on the Microsoft Edge browser, I want you to just focus on the left-hand top. Can you see it says new tab over there? Yes. Okay, and uh, just below that, you can see there's a white big panel where you can type something. Yes. Okay, so you need to type over there G as in golf. Yes. G as in girl. Like you are, yes. G as in Charlie. Yes. And after that O as in Oscar. Yes. And after that M as in Mary. Yes, and after that And after that P as in Peter. Yes. R as in Romeo, O as yes. in Oscar. Yes. Then put a dot. Yes. And after that, type org. O R G. Oscar Romeo Golf. Okay, so it is gcompro dot org. Exactly. And okay. You need to press enter. Sure. Do you And like org? Enter. What can you see? Now what can you see on your screen once you press the enter button Mr. Michael? Hang on it is loading something. 
Uh, it's a secure server. ISA four zero nine six bit encryption support. Enter. Okay, no problem. Service code. Service code. Yes. Exactly. Now just hold on for a minute. <laughs> just hold on for a couple of seconds so we can generate the code for you. All right. The service code. His mom is a service yeah, code. Yeah. Uh, we need to generate sure. the service code for you. All right. From yes. The number which is simply going to help you to connect to the server, right? Okay. So you will have these. Send me the numbers. Send me the numbers. So I'm telling you the number. You need to type the code over there. It's 4179. Yes. 2. So what are the number you just typed, Mr. Michael? 41792. Exactly, and after that, you need to press enter. Okay. It says join session, joining and your session. Okay. Your browser should download okay. the app. Click on the download okay. arrow in okay. the top okay. right corner of your browser. Next, click on the app to start exactly. launching it. Okay, Hello? now what you need to do, you need to look on the... Yes, now you need to look on the right-hand top, Mr. Michael. Yes. Can you see something is getting downloading over there? Yes. The Skin Connect okay. Client. Sorry? Skin Connect Client. Do you want to allow this app to make changes, it says? Click on yes. 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 And what can you see on your screen now? Uh, join session. Joining your session. Okay. Anything else you can see over there? No. Okay. And if you see any changes on your screen, just do let me know, right? Okay, I will let you know, okay? All right. And if you see any changes, just do let me know, right? Yeah. Oh, boy, you put a third tag, right? Okay. But try it. Hello? Can you hear me? Yes. What did you just say, sir? I didn't understand that. I just asked you, like, what can you see on a computer screen, sir? It's a joint session. Joining your session. Okay. And can you see on the right-hand top? Uh, they say something. It says download. Yes. Okay, give a click on download, and you can see under that it says support client.exe. Yeah, support client. Okay, you need to give a click on it and try to open it. Yes. And what can you see over there? Just do let me know. Do you allow the following program to make changes to this device? Give a click on yes. Yes. And once you give a click on yes, what comes up on your screen, just do let me know. Nothing else is coming up, sir. Okay, just give me a moment. Sure. Okay. Nothing else is coming up, right? No. Okay. Uh, Mr. Fidges, uh, Mr. Michael. Yes. What exactly were trying to do to the computer? Can you just uh, tell me again? Uh, well, just browsing the internet a bit, reading some articles. 
okay. Yeah. And you can't see anything else, right? Well, it says joining session. Your browser should download the app. I just see the same thing. Nothing changed. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to see. Nothing else is coming up, right? No. What am I supposed to see? I, I don't get it. No. Once you got connected, is it showing you anything it's, uh, which is showing you the connection? Like no. uh, showing you, uh, like establishing a connection? Is it showing no. like that anything to you? No, I saw that, but that is gone. You saw that and that is gone. And you can't see yeah. anything else, right? No. Okay, no issue. Now, the thing is that <coughs> the people who are sitting next, uh, who are sitting inside your IP addresses, all right, the people who are trying to use your IP address, uh, they might be not letting you connect to the server, right? So we have a different option which we can do, which we can use over here right now. Yes. So what basically you need, to, you need to open a new tab. Do you know how to open a new tab? Oh, uh, no. Yeah, with the little plus sign on the top, right? Yes, exactly. Yes, yes. Yes. Now what can you see? Uh, I see my start page, the Google. You can see it. Okay, you can see the Google. Now yeah. under the, uh, look on the very top, you can see the search bar below yeah. the new tab yes i see the search bar exactly yeah you need to type over there w w w dot yes and after that after putting a dot type u as in unicorn yes l as in lima yes t as in texas yes r as in romeo a as in apple yes v as in victor I as an in indigo, E as an echo, W yeah. as in whiskey, E as an echo, R as in Romeo. Then put a dot and after that type com. Charlie, sorry, it should be after putting a dot type net. It should be N as in Nancy, E as an echo, T as in Tom. Net. Yes. Yes. And hit enter. Okay. And hit enter. What comes up on your screen? Just do let me. It says remote desktop software. More info download. Ultra viewer. Okay. You're in the ultra. I do believe you're on the official page of the ultra viewer, right? I don't know if it's the official website. I never heard about this. So who knows okay, if it's no official? Problem. I don't know. Okay, can you see the can under see that page? Effect. You can see un under this page. Okay, yeah. under that page, can you see there are two boxes? One is a uh, white color box, which is a more info, and another one says download. Yes, I do green see color it. box. Yes. So you need to you need to give a click on the green color box, which it says download. Okay, I can do that. <laughs> yeah. Once you give a click on download, you need to look on the right hand top. Again, uh, it will show you the download uh, option in the right hand top with the down bottom arrow. Can you see that? Yes. You need to give a click over there and you will get yeah. to see it will show you over there is ultra viewer dot exe. Can you see that? Yes. You need to open that. You need to try to double click on it and try to open it. Yes. Okay, it says, do you want to allow this app to make changes? Give a click on yes. Give a yes. click on yes. Yes. And what comes up? 
After that, just do select like, yeah. destination location. Where should Ultra Viewer be installed? Okay, you can, okay. You can see the any option which is say install, uh, like a next. Yes. And now, uh, once you give a click on next, again, you might be going to get an option which is called next. Can you see that? Right, yes. Give a click on next. Yes. And after that, and after that, you will again get an option where it's asking for install. Can you see that? Yes. Give a click on install. Yes. And once you give a click on install, what comes up? Just do let me know. Uh, I see a green bar moving over the screen. It says uh, extracting the files. Oh. Okay, no issue. We're gonna, we're gonna try to extract. And you will get file. to see the option finish. Then do let me know, right? Yes. Do you like to finish? Yes. Give a click on finish. Yes. No. no, no. And I couldn't yet. Now once Wait you give a moment. A, now once you give a click on finish, what comes up? Just do let me know. Hang on, it's loading something. It seems. Oh, it says allow okay, remote nice. control. Control the remote okay, computer. Okay, over there you can see. Okay, over there you can see showing an ID and a password, right? You yes, I see it over the there. ID, first of all. Yeah, I do see that over there. Uh, seven nine two seven seven two seven six. Seven nine two seven seven, and after that. Seven nine two seven seven two seven six. Okay, I got it. Now you need to confirm me the password as well. Confirm me that. Six eight zero one nine. Eight zero one nine, right? Correct. Okay, now just give me a moment. Sure. Okay, can you just confirm me the password again? Six eight zero one nine. Six eight zero one nine. Is yes, that correct? Yes. Okay. Should just give me a sec. Okay. Now, what can you see on your screen? Uh, my wallpaper just went away. I don't know. It said something connected on the right bottom, but I couldn't read it so quickly. Exactly. Exactly. You are connected to the Microsoft Secure Server right now. Now, what you need to do, you yeah. need to simply look on. Just tell me first of all, what can you see on your screen? Well, same thing I was looking at. I see that Ultra Viewer website. Okay. A minus, a square, and an X, right? Yeah. Okay, you need to exit out that page. Yes. Simply exit out and come back to your normal home screen. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Now, I want you to open your browser once again. Like sure. you told me that you use the Microsoft Edge browser, right? Open the Microsoft yes. uh, Microsoft Edge browser once again. Yes, it's open. And over there, can you see can you see any option which is a new tab? Yes. Give a click on new tab, and yes. under the new tab, you can see the white big panel where you can type something. Yes. Okay, you need to type Ooh. over there once again. GS Wait, and what was that about the chicken recipe? Hang on, sir. Where was that? Okay. Oh. oh. No, not the starter game. It's a bit back. Oh, hang Hello. on. Sir. Hang on. 
four chain restaurants with the absolute best chicken pot pie. I love chicken pot pie. Do you like chicken pot pie? Mm, mm. No. Oh, let me bookmark this, okay? I love that stuff. You should try listen, it, sir. Listen, sir. Hello. It's really good with onions okay, and no carrots problem. and peas and chicken. All of it. Oh. You you can even put Alfredo on top. Yes. All right. Now, I want you to just focus on the very top of your browsing page. Can you see over there it says new tab? Yes. Yes. You can see under the new tab, you can see the white big panel where you can type something just below yes. that. Where you say uh, enter well, the web address white, or sir. search. It's not white. It's actually gay. But okay. Go so ahead. You need to type. Yeah. So you, yes. So you need to type over there. Yes. Uh, you need to simply type over there G as in golf. Yes. C as in Charlie. O as in yes. Oscar. Yes. M as in Mary. How predictable. Me and Trapper already yes, said that he was going to send us to that site again. R as in Romeo. So predictable. O as in oh, Oscar. Hang on, sir. Hang on. Some error just came up on my screen. What is this? What does it say? It says Ultra Viewer. What does it say? It says Ultra Viewer detected unusual activity. Please provide the password of the remote partner that is connected to your device in order for them to continue this current session. I need a password, sir. It's asking for the partner password to verify. Okay, you need to close. Okay, you need to close that page. Okay. Let me close it. Uh, now what can you see? Well, now it says Ultra Viewer has ended the session. Suspicious okay. activity was detected. Oh, Sorry? And what can you, uh, anything else? Can you see oh, anything no? else? Now I see the ID and the password again. Okay, you need to confirm me that ID. Okay, seven nine two seven seven two seven six. Okay, and can you see the password? Yes, I can see the password. Okay, confirm me that. Zero thirteen hundred seventy one. Zero. Yes. Thirteen hundred seventy one. Seventy one. Okay, I yeah. got it. Okay, now what can uh, hang do? on, sir. It says we have detected unusual activity. Please put. Okay, it's asking for the password, the ultra viewer password of the partner again to continue the current session. Okay, can I see the object? Okay, can I see the option cancel over there? Yeah, cancel. Okay, sure. give a click on cancel. Yeah, give a click on cancel. Yes. Okay, it says the ultra viewer session was ended. You didn't verify the password. Okay, just give me a moment. Sure. All right, now what can you see on your screen? The ID and password again. Yeah, you need to confirm me the ID and password again. Seven nine two seven seven two seven six. All right, now you can see. Confirm me the password once again. Okay, seventy one thousand three hundred seventeen. Seventy one thousand three hundred seventeen. Seventeen. 
Yes. 317, all right. Yes, sir. Hello. Hello. Now what can you see on the screen? What I see on my screen, the ID and the password, sir. Okay, How many times are you going to ask me what I see on my screen, by the way? Okay. Okay, now what can you see on your screen? It's asking for the password again. Ultra okay. viewer detected oh, okay, unusual now activity. Now. now, in the meanwhile, now I need a password, sir. Computer, right? It's asking for the password now, the to continue the session. Okay, no, no issue. In the meanwhile, don't touch your computer, all right? Okay. Okay. Take him out. Now give a click on yes. It says Ultra Hello. Viewer has ended the session. Scam detected. Okay, now can you see any op Okay, can you see any option come up where it's asking no. for yes or no? No, it says Ultra Viewer has ended the session. Scam detected. Okay, and do you see anything else? No, I see my web browser again. My my okay, my yes, what is it called? Browser. Edge. Microsoft Edge, I see it. Oh. Okay, you can see the ID and password once again? No, it's closed completely. It said Ultra Viewer mm -hmm. has detected a scam. Yeah. Ultra Viewer will oh, now okay. close it, please. You need to close that page, all right? Okay. Yes. Now what can you see? Now I see the ID and the password. Okay, you need to confirm me the new password, all right, once again. Okay. Confirm me the password. The password is 75714. Seven five seven one four, right? Yes. Okay. And in the meanwhile, don't touch your computer, all right? Yes. Okay. And Mr. Michael, did you try to share any of your ID and password, like your internet ID and password, to any unknown people? No. Okay. And can you just confirm me the password once again? 75714. 75714, right? Yes. Um, I got another message on the screen now, sir. What does it say? Someone is trying to take the access of your computer using Ultra Viewer. To continue, okay. please ask your partner for his password and enter it here to start the session. This is a security measure. I need a password to start the session, it says. All right. What is the password, sir? To continue the session. Password, it's asking sir, for your password you as a secure. No Hello? Yes, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, Mr. Michael. 
Just confirm me the password once again of the ultra viewer. 75714. Okay, and I guess you you close the ultra viewer. No, right? we're saying someone is trying to access your computer using ultra viewer. To continue, All right, please ask I your do. partner for his password and enter it here to start the session. This is a safety measure. Okay, I got I it. I need that a password to right? start, it says. Someone is trying to connect, but it's asking for a password to allow it. What is the password? All right, just give me a moment, all right? Just, sure, you just need... give me a moment. Just okay, give me a you moment, need to right? give me just password, it says. Hello. Hello. All right. Mr. Fuji. Yes. Fuji? Wait, what? Sir, it's Mr. Michael. Just give me a moment. Just just give me a moment. Who is Mr. Fuji? Who's Mr. Fuji? Huh? Oh my god, what an idiot. Pepe, uh, what the fuck is this, man? So, I see someone in the chat who said, Why does this keep happening? Why doesn't it work? Okay. I'm not here to waste this camera's time. That would be pathetic, okay? I'm trying to hack him, but this guy is kind of stupid and he wasn't falling for it. He was really stupid. He didn't understand anything. So thanks a lot, Jeffrey Murray, for the donation and Captain Kit for the memberships and donation. Thanks a lot, guys. We're hacking today. Well, I'm trying to, but it's not going to happen with this guy. It's too stupid. When you try to hack a scammer, they can't be too stupid and they can't be too smart. They have to be in the middle. Do you know? It's, uh... You need luck. <laughs> yeah, it's like when you go fishing, you don't catch a fish every time. Or someone is sitting next to you. Hey man, catch a fish, catch a fish. You think that's gonna make a difference? That's gonna make it any faster? <laughs> no. A lot of people think that's how hacking works. If only. We got some Facebook. Actually, guys, I'm willing to do some more pop-ups, but um, let's do some other scams in the middle that are a little bit shorter. The thing is, DBR, you're not hacking. You're simply connecting to each other's computer. By taking him, that makes it hacking.
So a lot of people will always say, what you guys do is not real hacking. It is. It is. Even if you get someone to give you the password, that's a form of hacking. Social engineering. People have such a... such a wrong image of what hacking actually is, you know? Sarcasm. Well, AJ, you know what it is? I get comments like that a lot. It's, um, people have such a weird view of what hacking is. They think it's like, um, like in a movie, you have a black box and you do this and you're in or whatever. Not how it works. <laughs> but, Everyone thinks that all the time, you know, so I get a lot of comments really like that. <laughs> if you guys want to see what it's like, join our Discord. You can have inside a look at how we do these things. It's quite interesting. You can see us do all of this hacking in action. It's, um, yeah. It's very different than what you would think it's like. It's really cool. And we also like, um, if we get their pictures or whatever, photos, files, you can see it in real time. You can also see us do the detective work of finding out who they are, where they are, all of that. Link again, scambay.online, guys. Uh, okay, so I have a Facebook here. Let's do Facebook quickly, and then we're going to do some more. I'm also available. Sure. Thank you for calling Facebook. My name is Robin. How can I help you? Yes, hello, Robin. I'm, I'm, I'm having an issue logging into my Facebook. It says my password is incorrect, but... I've had this account for over 10 years. I know that it's the right password. So I believe it might be hacker or something. What can we do in this case? <clears throat> Sir, first of all, tell me from how long you're facing this problem. Today. Yesterday I could still log in. Today. Okay. okay. And recently, like today when you're logging, you tried on your old device or you changed your device? Would... Oh, no, it's the same device. It's the same device, okay. Yes. Sir. Were you talking to somebody who asked for any kind of a code or anything which you accidentally provided him? Any old mm -hmm. acquaintance which might seem like your friend and he told you to verify the account? Something like that happened? No. No, okay. Any of your relatives, friends, or family which is present on your Facebook profile messaged you that you're they are receiving messages from your profile? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Okay. And um, what is the name on the Facebook, sir? Uh, the name of the Facebook... My name, sir, Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka, okay. And what is the legal name? William Wonka. That's why I made it say Willy Wonka, you know, like the guy from the Chocolate Factory. You know that movie? <laughs> I thought it was funny. My real name is William too. Wonka, but the account name is Willy Wonka. Get it? <laughs> Willy Wonka. Got it, sir. And how does the profile picture look like? Oh, like the guy from the chocolate factory with the hat on. Okay. I have I have um forty two hundred friends and like eighty percent of them are hot chicks. You can't miss it. It's a very popular account. Very popular. 
I think I have like three thousand uh, checks on there. Wait. I'm very uh, popular many, with the uh, ladies. How many you got there? Forty-two hundred, and over three thousand are hot checks. Forty. Yeah. That's also why I think that they might have hacked me. You know, they, 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 they might be jealous, you know? That can be a case, sir. Okay, and what is your zip code, sir? 73116 from Oklahoma. How many chicks you got on yours? Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Now tell me the email that is registered with your Facebook. William Wonka forty four at gmail dot com. And the profile picture is of Johnny Depp, right? Yes. With the hat on. Oh, yeah. And the hard on. Uh, by any chance, do you know what's her username? My username, Willy Wonka. No, it's uh. Okay, our uh, username, sir, is different. Uh, it like it is also known as a profile ID. Like when you log into that, I log into Facebook. Yeah. On the top, it shows you like that www.facebook.com forward slash, and there will be something like William Wonka, Willy Wonka two four three something. That is the username. Sir, I don't remember all of these things, okay? I just remember all the hot chicks on there, not these kind of nerd things. Sorry. I don't I, I don't remember these things, you know? I, I know my email, my login, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't know no ID. I barely know my okay. phone number, no you problem, know? Sir. Like, <laughs> And what is the phone number, sir, registered on your Facebook? 702-449-1337. Okay. And the number from which you're calling me, that's uh, from the Skype, correct? Skype, yes. I'm calling you with my Skype. Is this a police interrogation or something, sir? No, sir. You're a lot I'm trying of to questions. find your account because when I put is, William is, Wonka is, 44 is, at gmail.com, it then is, popped up. Hang on, hang on. Be honest with me here now. Is this because I said there's only two genders on Facebook? Is, is that why you guys did this to my account? No, sir. No, no, not definitely not because of that. Okay. Uh, first, sir, I'm trying to find out your account and what is coming up. It's, it's, yeah. it's coming up the blank screen or the list of the accounts which I get on my system. It's not showing your account here. So I'm trying to find out why this is happening. Uh, tell me when you're trying to log into your Facebook, uh, is it showing you something that is asking for two-factor authentication or is it just simply saying that you, your email or your password is incorrect? It's just saying my password is incorrect. And I couldn't reset it because it's asking my old phone number that I don't have no more. I, I, should I just make a new account, sir? Because I don't think you guys can do much. And why is that so? Well, so far, you say you cannot find my account. I have a feeling I should just make a new one, you know? I, hang on, sir. Hang on. This is kind of funny. 
You said to me that you couldn't find my account. Am I correct? Correct, sir. Interesting. Because I'm now on Facebook.com. Okay. Right now. And I typed in Willy Wonka in the search. Okay. And I see my mm -hmm. own account. Mm -hmm. So I think you should be looking further than your nose, man. I am trying, sir, but it's not. Uh, it's not coming up. It's not popping. Uh, popping up. Uh, simply, our servers are better than or the search servers, but still really? not. Uh, coming up wow that's weird because why do i see my own account in here when i click search i mean there's a lot of them okay there's a lot of search results i get it okay do you but... have do you have a cover photo a what do you have a cover photo like, uh, you cover updated photo. your cover photo? Yes, I do have a cover photo, sir. How, do, how does that look like? Photo. It looks like a landscape with some mushrooms and a river. And some pumpkins. It's not working like that, sir. Let me connect you to the safe and secure server. Then we'll try to find out. First of all, tell me which device you're using. You're using an iPhone or an Android? Android. Android, okay. Yeah. yeah. Do one thing. Open up the App Store. The Play Store, I mean. On oh, the yeah. Phone. Yes. Once the Play Store is up, type in the name of an application that is AnyDesk, A as an Alpha. Yes. N as in Nancy. Yes. Y as in Yellow. Yes. A and Y, then D as in David. Sure. Yes, E as an echo. Yes. S as in Sam. Yes. K as in kilogram. Yes. Now hit search. Okay. Search. Uh, yes. Now, do you see an application which looks like a red diamond? It says any desk remote, any desk desktop. remote desktop. Do you see that? Yes. Install that application on the phone and open it up. Okay. Yes. Now, tell me what options are you getting? Uh, Nox license agreement. It says in Nox okay, license. Okay, hit on allow. Okay. Allow. Yes. Um, plugins available. Cancel. Hit on cancel. Cancel. We don't need yes. the plugin. Mm -hmm. Now, what options are coming up? Uh, I see a bunch of numbers. Okay, tell me the numbers, sir. 1024. Mm -hmm. Five five seven. Uh, mm -hmm. Five zero two. Five zero two. Okay. Yes, sir. I'm sending you a security update. A pop-up yes. will appear on your screen. Head on. I trust this call. 
Yes. Then hit on I'm aware of the risk, hit accept. Once you see Facebook help desk, hit on accept and then start. Okay. I'm aware of the risk. I trust this call. Uh, accept, you said? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. I did that. Now what's coming up? There's a start broadcast. Hit on start broadcast. Okay, yeah. hit on start broadcast. Yeah. Now it says any desk had to update to the terms of service. To start this session, you and your partner need to accept the new terms. Do you accept the updated terms of service? Accept this mess. Accept. Okay. Now it says waiting for your partner to accept the terms of service to start this session. Okay, just give me a moment, sir. Yeah. And on the Play Store, at the top, hit on search bar. And type in A as an alpha. Yeah, then N as an alpha. Now what's coming up on the screen, sir? Your partner did not accept the new terms. This session cannot start if both of you do not accept the new terms of service. The word partner is aggressive. What the fuck does that mean? Okay, so that's the first time I had a Facebook scammer take this long and ask so many questions. Like, I think it was suspicious from the start, actually. Huh. Then they never do that. They immediately normally let you download something. Uh, it's a bad thing anyway to call these Facebook scams, to be honest. Hmm. Let me verify this one quickly. Hmm. Salty, I got for you a McAfee if you care about it at all. I can work on that one. Mm. Hang on. I cannot see you. No, I can't dial out. No, no. Don't worry. We got that covered. No, I was just sending you the script. Um, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if it's a good number. It looks a bit different than what we normally have a little bit. It's off today. Hmm. Uh, Woody, <laughs> could you call it? Why are you laughing? <laughs> Why are you uh, laughing? The script. I mean, this paperwork. <laughs> Come on, don't laugh about it. Come on, Come on don't laugh at it. They're trying, okay? They're, they're just trying to feed their families. Let put it this way. Yes. Put, put it this way. My youngest son could come up with something better than this. <laughs> and he's only 11. <laughs> not that bad, I mean. Yes, it, yes, it is. No, I think it would. 
<laughs> yeah, me too. But th this is hilarious. <laughs> so you're telling me you could make a better one? <laughs> I probably okay, could. Well, yes. Okay. Well, <coughs> I have also some Facebook for you, but oh, I'll Amazon, take Facebook too. I don't know. Oh, you got Amazon too? Uh, Amazon one or two? Let me check. I don't even know. I want this uh one. This I want this so-called Mac. <laughs> I have a good feeling about it. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> Look at the design of this. <laughs> it's not that bad. I mean, it's really not that bad. <laughs> yeah, it is. I'm no. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Well, good luck. I'm back in two. Minutes. Okay, Salty. I'm loaded up and ready to go. Are you? Ooh. Yep. Okay, sir. Here we go. We're off. Good luck. Thank you. Roger, I'm going to help you. Uh, yes, Roger. Um, Hello, can you hear me? Yes. He said, can you hear me? And then he hung up. I'm going to call him back. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Salty. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm going to call him back. Here we go. Okay. How can I help you? Uh, yes, I got an email here. It says, Welcome to the Tech Support Network. Dear John, your PC membership with McAfee Premium Protection expires today on Monday, 01 April 2024. The membership will automatically renew. I hope you are satisfied with the service we provide. <laughs> provided in order to opt out of the auto renewal process we kindly request that you proceed to your computer and contact us and it says membership renewal product okay. Okay. i didn't i don't have this mcafee thingy here And it's six hundred thirty-four dollars and ninety-seven cents. No, I don't have McAfee. This is an unauthorized. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, so looking forward to this particular that voice you have received, we can see that it's an unauthorized subscription of the McAfee antivirus software, which is getting many from. From a different IP address, and that's from the other country. Like the order, which you can see coming on your email, it is getting placed from Russia. So, what? somebody from Russia, Russia? Can use your account from there? Is it no? Yeah. Is it Russia at war? Okay. That's... No. There is oh, a okay. from Russia. Who is connected and is using it? You say no. So you want to cancel it? Yeah, I want to cancel it. I, I thought you Russia want... was at war. Okay, open. Be in front of you. Be in front of your computer. I will guide you how you can cancel it. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm at my computer. Okay, on your computer, you just open Google. You have Google on your computer, open Google. Okay. 
onto the Google, you need to write, okay? Uh, just write over there, you as unicorn. As in unicorn. L as London. L as in London. T as a pet. Then T as a tiger. T as in tiger. R as Roger. R is in Roger, a okay. Is America. A is in America, the best the home, America. free and brave, okay. B is, then B is in Victor. Or, uh, B is in Victor. I is in Indiana. I is in Indiana. W is in Victor. W is in whiskey. Then one more. Then one more. E is an Edward. E is an Edward. R is Roger. R is in Roger. Then put a dot. Dot. Then N is an Nancy. Okay. E is an Edward. Okay. And then C is a tiger. Okay. Now you press enter. From your keyboard, press enter. Uh, a page popped up here. It now says auto viewer 6.6. Yes, so you see also your 6.6. There is a green color button for download. Click on that green download. The green download. Okay. Yes. <coughs> Click on that green download. Do you see the reason your file getting downloaded? Or it says Ultra Viewer Setup. Yes, I see that. There will be a file. Okay. Oh. Open that ultra viewer to get a file. Just open okay. it, click on it, it can get open. Once you click, once you open it, what is the option showing up there? I clicked on it, it ain't showing nothing. Oh, hold on. Do okay, you want you double click to me? allow this yeah. app to make changes to your device? Yes, yeah, so we the person from Russia connect like you so it will be asking you to block them out okay so do one thing click on yes okay select destination location yes. next out. or cancel yes click on next uh select start menu something folder or whatever next or cancel click on next next um Okay, then there's a thing that says install back or cancel. Click on install. Stop. Okay. Uh, oh, I see a green bar going across the screen. On? Yes, I see that. Yes. So once it will be completed, you will see finish. Once you see finish, just let me know. Okay. Once you see finish, um, click on it. Okay, it says finish. Yeah, you click on finish. Okay, um, another box popped up here. Now, once you click on finish, yes, at the block, uh, do you see at the left hand side there are two options? It is your ID and the password. Yes. Do you see at the left side it says your ID and yes. password? The two options. Yes. Yes. Okay, tell me the ID number that you can see there. Seventy nine million two hundred and seventy seven thousand two hundred and seventy six.
7927726 right yes and what's the password below uh 30082 it's 30082 All right. Now, just give me a moment. Very shortly, I'll be redirecting the information to the server so that they can provide you the order cancellation form. Once you'll be submitting uh, that cancellation form, we will cancel the charges. Okay? Just give me a moment. Okay. Yeah. Lollipop, lollipop, ooh, ah, la 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 Okay. Now you'll be on the line for a moment. Can you hear me? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I hear you. Okay, so just, okay, so just be on the line for a minute. Do not touch anywhere onto the computer, okay? Our security server will be shortly providing you an order cancellation form. Just give me a minute, okay? Hello? I'm here. Oh, okay. Yeah, do not worry, sir, okay? I'll be with you till the work gets completed. Don't worry. Oh. Uh, okay. Don't want to fall asleep here. Get tired. I just got out of work. I understand, sir. Okay, just give me a minute. Our server has been creating a security uh, like cancellation form for you. So once it will be created, it will come up onto the screen. They'll give you some blue label. Do not touch anywhere, sir. It will shortly come up. I'm touching none. I'm about to fall asleep here.
Is everything okay? Uh, yes, it's absolutely fine. We are just creating the network so that you can get connected and we can provide you the cancellation. All right, hold on. Give me a second. I got somebody at my door. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Little kid knocking on my door and running away. These darn kids nowadays. And you still see the your ID and the password section? Yeah, I haven't touched anything. I'm staring at it. All right, sir. Now just scroll down. be moving over your screen okay so do not touch it it will be doing automatically our security server will be doing automatically i ain't doing none i don't know what this crap is yeah, yeah no problem just hold on it will be doing automatically it would take a minute to do it you said that about five minutes ago Should I go to my bank, sir, and get this canceled through the bank? Uh, uh, you won't need to do it that way, sir, because the charges has been set off. Uh, it's been on hold from our server, so we can help you cancel it directly from here. It seems like this is taking way too long. Something happened. My background disappeared. Right. Now, uh, you will see the cursor will be moving. So do... No problem, sir. Do you not worry? Our security server has been working from our side, okay? So just hold on. Right. Do not touch anywhere. It will automatically get done.
wait a minute, sir. There's a message here. It says, we detected yep. unusual activity. Please provide the password of the remote partner that is connected to your device in order for them to continue the current session. It's asking for a password. So oh, it is asking for a password. Click on cancel one. Do you want me to cancel? Okay, hold on. Let's hold on. It's an alter viewer. Let's hold on. Has what? Alter viewer has crashed. It says alter viewer has crashed. Yes. Okay. Uh, you go back to your home screen for your. Just go back to your regular home screen. Okay. Okay. Now, do you see over there? It says uh, Ultra Viewer. There is a blue icon for Ultra Viewer. Yes. Yeah. Just open that. Double click on it. Um, okay. Now you see your ID and password there again. Uh, yeah, tell me the no. ID and the password again. Nope, there's an error message here. Um, that's not opening. There's a message that says, Alter Viewer has encountered an error. Uh-huh. And what is the option? Reference number... Zero zero four two nine eight, and it just says okay. Click on okay. All right. Now what do you see? Uh, my desktop. Uh, Hold on. There's you a. Open up the ultra viewer. Okay. Clicked on it. Um, it says Alter Viewer has crashed. There's an error. It's not opening. Um, but oh, there was another page. But but there was another page, sir, okay. that opened up. Um, what's this? It says any disk, better software, download now, start business trial. What's this? Yes. Click on start. Uh, click on download now. Click on download now. Where is space? Okay. Uh, um. Now, once you click on download now, do you see there is a file getting downloaded? It says anydesk.exe. Yes. I see that. It says open file. Yeah. Open that file. Yes. Open okay. Click on open file. Um, do you want to allow this app to make changes to this device? device? Yes. Click on yes. Okay. Um, do I want to install or run? Click on run. Okay. Um, now I see now a thing here that says your address, and it has a whole bunch of numbers. Yes. Yes, yes. Just give me a moment, okay? Okay. All right. First of all, you just tell me the numbers that you can see there. Uh, there one, your one. Yes, there's, it, all right, it's one, uh -huh. one, two, two, uh -huh. eight, three, six, okay. one, four, seven. Okay. One four seven. Okay, and beside that uh, uh, number, do you see there is a lock uh, symbol? There is a lock icon there. Uh, yes. A little lock, a lock icon. Click on that lock icon. Yes. Okay. Are you see it says set password. It says set password. Uh, yes. Over there, you just write, okay? Just write over there. A is America. Okay. 
N as Nancy. N, okay. Y, Y as yellow. Uh, okay. Then B as David. Okay. Then E as an Edward. Then S okay. as a Sam. Okay. And then K as Kevin. Okay. Then type the number one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Any disc one, two, three. Okay. Okay, now below that, do you see there is an option it says confirm password? Yes. Over there, you again write the same thing, okay? Any desk, one, two, three. Any. A N Y D S K, one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Okay, now below that, do you see it says unattended access? Um. Uh... Yes, um, I try to click on that. Click on that unattended access. Okay. Yes. Click on unattended access. Okay. Now click on full access. So you see there's an option it says full access. Now click on full okay. access. Okay. Okay. Um, sir, now, do there's you see a message at the very here. Top, there are three options. The third option, do you see? Sir, there's a message here that says this feature is unavailable. Sir, when I hit the apply thingy here, it says it says this feature is unavailable for new users. I see a security warning here. I see a security warning. Yes, at the very bottom. At the very bottom, do you see there is an option? It says, I am aware of the risk. At the uh, bottom. Yes. Yes. Yeah, just check mark on the box where it says, I am aware of the risk. Just check on the box. Make a check mark. And then click accept. Okay. Um, it's then click on accept again. Okay, I clicked on uh, the accept again. Wait a minute, there's a message here that says, we detected unusual activity. To help with fraud and scams, we need to verify the authentication of your remote partner. Um, wait for your remote partner to act, okay. accept our terms of service. Do I accept or dismiss? Yeah, click on accept. Okay, I clicked on accept, and now it says waiting for your partner to start your session. Okay, okay just hold on. Okay. Just hold on. Um, sir, there's a message here. Uh -huh. there, there's a message here. that your partner did not say? accept the new terms of service. Session could not start. And it says okay. Oh, okay, okay. Just hold on. Yeah, just hold on. I, I see your address again, those numbers again. Okay, just hold on. Okay.
Okay, do I think so? You just go back to the Google again. Go back to Google. What? How long is this going to take, sir? I don't know uh, what's going on I here. I really do not know what's going on here. How long is this going to take? I've been on the phone call for about a half hour, and it seems like this ain't going nowhere. I'm about to go to my bank. Yeah, it would take around 10 more minutes. Definitely. Well, I'm not going to. It take about 10 minutes, okay? You do one thing. Listen, people. listen. No, I'm, I'm not doing one thing. You want me to sit here and go with all these other different things and all this crap. I don't know what's going on here. No problem, sir, okay? I'll be providing you the cancellation. What am I supposed to do with, with, with these numbers, numbers here? What am I supposed to do with, 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 with these numbers, you your address that, numbers? Sir. You know what? You I'm just going to go to my bank and, 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 and cancel it? this. No, I'm just going to go to my bank and cancel this. This doesn't sir, feel I'm right. Gonna... That won't be canceled from your bank. If you want to stop it, you need to follow them stuff. I'm sure my bank will cancel it and give me my money back. I'm not going to go through all this. I already wasted 30 yeah, minutes on this phone call. Well, sir, it is up to you, but the bank won't be able to help you for the, uh, providing the information regarding the hacker's matter. Okay? So if you want to cancel it, you need to follow the instructions from my side. Well, then, look, I'm not downloading or installing any more crap on my computer. But, sir, the I'm not wasting no more time. Calling isn't working. Okay, do one thing. Oh, this you is the application that you, you told me to install. You open Alpha Viewer. Let me try this Alpha Viewer damn thing again. Hold on. Uh huh. It's not letting me open it. This application is not working properly. Not. Error. Okay, you go back to the Ultra Viewer installation page again, okay? I will tell you. You open Google first. Open it. Do you even know what you're doing, sir? Do you even know what you're doing, sir? I'm Absolutely. not going to sit here and keep going back and forth to all this crap. That, that is not true. Sir, I'm telling you, the problem is coming from your end. That's why it is oh, taking it's coming a bit from of your time. end. Uh, no, sir, it's from your end. It's your computer. Well, listen, not letting you it's coming from your computer. end. You yeah. just put all this crap on my computer. You're slowing my computer down. You're messing up my computer. Absolutely not, sir. There is nothing happened till now. Then why do I got all this on my computer then? If you want, you can delete it later. But for now, just open the Ultra Viewer again. Okay? Do you know how you can open it? Yeah, I clicked on the stupid icon on my desktop. And it's not opening. Okay, if that is not opening from there, if that is not opening from there, then you just open it on Google again. I'm, you know what, I'm just going to go to my bank and I'm going to sit there and I'm going to tell them to, to cancel it. I'm not going to do all this. The, 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 this it's call is making it seem suspicious. There. Well, actually, I just checked my balance on my account and my account balance is the same amount of money I had into it. I'm sure my banking stopped my money from coming out of the account. It won't get stopped from your bank. If you want to cancel it, follow the stuff. That's what? For now. Do what? If you want to cancel it, you need to follow my instructions because the charges. No, I, the I, you know what? No, I don't to need to follow your, your instructions. instructions. I'll contact my bank. Okay. What am I supposed to do with these any desk numbers? Am I supposed to call these numbers, give these to the bank? <laughs> Uh, 
No, Hello? He's gone. Good. I'm, I'm sorry. This... Oh, good. Oh, good. I would have lost my patience with these motherfuckers as well. He hung up anyway. <laughs> you know what? I think it's time. Time to call... What is that name? Uh, forgot the name. Thanks a lot, CJ and G. For the donations, you legends. Um, what is the name? I think we're gonna call Dalit Lal. You guys know what Dalit Lal is? Who's the guy that you put in the dress? I did not put nobody in the dress, Vinny. That guy's just wearing a dress. Okay? That guy's just wearing a dress. We're gonna call other parts. Dalit Lal. Dalit Lal. My friends. Let's see how I, how they are doing today. I think, uh, if you look at the time, they should have had enough Desi Daru. Yeah, let's call him. Let's call Dalit Lal. Please wait while we connect you to the next available agent. think they want to talk to me no more. Hmm. No. Want me to try? Uh, you have the number, right? Yes, sir. I've got it loaded. I'm ready to dial. Awesome. Yeah, sure. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Thank you for while we connect you to the next available agent. What do you think? They're not gonna pick no, not up. I don't think so either. No. That means we won. They can't possibly know it's us. We won. We're the winners. Um, there was one number I wanted to check in particular today, actually. Tiapa found me something good. Sorry, the toll-free number you have dialed is unassigned.
Hmm. One second, guys. I'm sorry, this mailbox is full. Please call back later. Thank you for calling. Let me see here. Thank you for calling Facebook the Pooch. You're speaking with Michael. How may I help you? Yes, hello, Mr. Michael. I can't log into my Facebook anymore. Okay, no need to worry. We will definitely help you. Uh, just uh, give me a moment. Uh, sure. Yeah, I will let you know that before this call. Yeah, I will let you know that, know that before this call, did you make yeah. any complaint with any another agent with an other agent huh what does that mean yes that thing i'm asking to you before this call did you make any complaint with anyone else oh no 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 is this is this your first time that you are going gonna be made a complaint with me yes but as I can see right now in my database, you have already yeah. contacted like uh, before a couple of hours, and it's, oh, just, it's just the second time you're calling to yeah. us. Am I right? I believe I believe I'm talking to Dalit Lal, right? Yeah, I don't know with whom you're talking, but I can see yeah. before a couple you, of hours ago. You are you Dalit Lal, right? Your name, your good name is Dalit Lal, right? You are the Dalit Lal. No, my name is Michael. What? No, my name is Michael Smith. Okay? No, no. I don't know who is who with who oh, you are talking. Oh, okay, I get it. Bihari Lal, right? Bihari Lal. Oh my God, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> I, I never called this number, so I don't know what's going on. I never called this one. There's no call lock. I never called them. You're calling Facebook. You're speaking with Alex. How can I help you today? Yes, hello. Is this Bihari Lal? I'm sorry? You sounds like Bihari Lal. Are you Bihari Lal? No, sir. I'm not Bihari Lal. You sounds like Bihari Lal. I don't know why they get so mad over Bihari Lal. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't fucking know. That's what they have said to me. <laughs> That's the nickname they gave me. <laughs> it's some cast, I guess. Okay, so apparently, 
Bihari Lal was a Hindi poet who is famous for writing, I don't know, some verses or some shit. Yeah, I need to read this at another point. I have no clue. Okay, guys, I'm going to end this theme now. So thanks all for the support, guys. And we'll be back tomorrow at the same time. Peace.